All righty. So this one was built by Lucas Santana, one of our consultants, um, formerly developer extraordinaire. Uh, this is a Zoho creator build for inventory counting to kind of extend the functionality of Zoho inventory. Um, so for this client, they've got a variety of different warehouses. Each warehouse has a unique warehouse manager that is responsible for making sure that the stock is accurate for that warehouse. Um, the challenge is it's just not easy in Zoho inventory to like make inventory adjustments to the appropriate warehouse on a regular basis. And we wanted to standardize and streamline that process. So an important note with this client is they already have some creator applications where they're doing inventory related processes. So the users were already kind of touching something in this realm. Um, but so the first thing we did essentially set up in this creator app, the various warehouses and defined who is the manager of each warehouse. Um, then uh, Lucas set up a creator form where based on that warehouse manager, the warehouse is selected and then it will pull in all of the products that are associated with that warehouse. Because let's say we have, you know, four warehouses and a hundred products. They don't all stock all 100 all the time. Um, in my warehouse, I might just stock 30 of those. So if I'm going to do an inventory count, I don't want to see a hundred products. I just want to see the 30 that I actually work with on a regular basis. So then within that form, the warehouse manager can go through, right? Do the inventory count. Like we're talking boots on the ground. You're actually in the warehouse counting things up for the correct count for each of those items that they should have in stock. And then they can just submit that form and move on with their life. Uh, on the back end now, what happens is a script runs that takes all the data from that form, routes it into Zoho inventory to create an inventory adjustment for that warehouse to true up the stock or all of the products that were counted. So just handles the back end of that process with all the stock counts being reconciled. When you do that, depending on how you want to run the inventory value, adjustment, you sometimes have to do some math of like current stock, new stock difference. You know, there's, there's some things that go in creating an inventory adjustment that are pretty nice to automate. Um, and then kind of the cool thing is that this is a process that the client wants done every month. So we can set up a scheduled function there that will essentially make this request to each warehouse manager to submit this form for their warehouse on a regular basis, right? If they don't do mm -hmm. it in a couple of days, you can follow up, email them, et cetera. Um, yeah, nice build. And we were finding that creator can be a nice place to extend inventory functionality, right? We did a mm -hmm. similar thing, with like a bill of materials and kind of a work in progress production build, not for this client, but for a different one where, you know, you just have a lot more flexibility inside of creator to, to make a workflow that makes sense. Um, and yeah. so this was a nice build, wanted to share it. Big shout out to Lucas, uh, for some great work here. Yeah. The other cool thing about this one is that, uh, you could, you could continue to expand that that creator app and almost turn it into more of like a, an inventory portal for your eh. uh, warehouse managers. Because let's say, you know, uh, let's say that uh, just however your workflow works, that uh, your managers are like, man, there's there's stuff in inventory that that I don't care about and I don't have to see. And then there's stuff that I can't do that I need to do. Uh, that, yeah, you could kind of sort of create like a, you know, specific user interface for your, for your warehouse managers, uh, through, through creator, obviously that takes a lot of time to build, yeah. but, uh, but it is, it is always an option that you can take if you're like, man, so inventory, it's bones are good. It's bones are good, yeah. but, uh, the functionality is there, but there's just some, some UI stuff that we want that we wish was different. Um, kind of like I think so one of the can... big drivers for this is like when you're making an inventory adjustment, it will always just show you all products, right? Mm -hmm. and like, and I use the example for a quick example of a hundred products and four warehouses. This is a more complicated operation than that. They have yeah. many more than four warehouses and many more than a hundred products. products. And some of them might be similar, right? So it's like easy to make a mistake, right? Like warehouse A stocks skew one, two, three, four. Warehouse B stock skew one, two, three, four, five. You can imagine it'd be pretty easy for someone to make an error, right? When you're going yep. through and doing these operations. So for sure. Uh, being able to set up that type of filtering and like easy access to only the correct products is I think a big part of why the client wanted to move forward with this build. But yeah, big shout out to Lucas and a great uh, implementation.